<laughs> All right. So at which point on the curve, y equals 1 plus 40x cubed minus 3x to the fifth, does the tangent line have the largest slope? So we graphed it. And everybody, the scale is wacko. Negative 10 to 10 on the x, negative 600 to positive 600 on the y. Very oblong. X to the fifth, we can kind of see it here, right? Here's one kind of a hit here, and then it does this. The reason I trace the red is that I want to be clear that this yellow spot is definitely not where the slope is largest. Because we can look right at those two yellow parts and say, hey, that's going to be a decreasing function. The derivative there will be negative. That is not large. Negative numbers are small. So it has to be between these two points here. And this is where your calculus understanding can be really powerful, because you actually don't need the graph. You have to realize that we are going to optimize. We want the biggest. All right? But this function doesn't give us slope. I need the function that gives me slope of that curve. The first derivative gives me slope. Do you guys agree? It's, does everybody agree with that? Yes. And we're not going to set this to zero. Because if this, is, if this gives me slope, I need the derivative of that. And if you like, instead of calling it y prime, you could call this or e s of x maybe for slope of the line. The tangent slope of the point, or t of x for tangent slope. All right? It could be anything. But we're smart people. I'm going to leave it as y prime and say, well, I'm going to have to find y prime prime. And I get this. All right? And I want to know where this is a maximum. So I'll set that equal to zero. I don't know. That was, that was kind of gross, whatever that sound was. But we'll just keep rolling. 60x. You don't need solver for this one. Oh, it factors. It factors. <laughs> he could, but everybody, there are three solutions. We should be able to visually see them now. One of the solutions is zero. Another solution is plus or minus two. All right. So when I look at the curve, my gut reaction is... Zero is probably not it, and two and negative two are probably the same. How would I check those three points? Plug them into the, uh, derivative. the derivative. So in the blue derivative here, we'll, we'll do these three values. Obviously, y prime of zero is zero. And everybody, do you see that there's no sign change happening there? I mean, all right? So here we go. And then we go y prime of two. If I put two in there and I do some math, uh, well, it's going to, four times 120 is 480, minus 15 times 16. I don't know what that is. I'm going to grab a calculator. I'm lazy and I don't want to do it by hand. So 120 times 2 squared. Minus 15 times 2 to the 4th, right? I get 240. And everybody, what do I know? It's the same because it's we see it's even, so they're both 240. So where... Plug it in the first equation if I have value? Right, because it didn't ask the x value. It said at which point. So there are two points. There's 2 comma blank and negative 2 comma blank. So now we have to go all the way back to our original equation. And I can tell right away that these are not the same values because it's an x to the fifth function, and I can use my handy dandy TI calculator. I give two to the third minus oops, minus three to the negative two to the fifth, and I get negative two twenty-three to negative two. And for a positive 2, when I plug it in and I go second entry on my TI calculator, I can delete out the negative sign here, hopefully in just a second. 225 positive. 
and everybody, we just found the two points where the derivative is, where the slope of the tangent line is a maximum. And actually, we know it. We figured it out right here. It's 240. Again, interesting AP problem type thought, right? Understanding what, what the first derivative gives and that we want to optimize slope. All right? So keep on practicing. Hold on.